members. Um, I had uh, I have a video tutorial for you and it's bow making. Um, I had a few people asking about how I made my bows and I posted about my wreaths, my ornament wreaths. And you can see the ornament wreaths on the blog and the Facebook page and the YouTube channel because there will be a video on those as well. Um, so you can click on over and, and see those. But I'm going to do a little video tutorial on the bow. And the ribbon I used was just dollar store ribbon, so nice and affordable. And there's nine feet on one of these. I chose a burlapy looking ribbon, kind of goes with everything, pretty neutral. So it didn't, uh, didn't matter what color my ornaments ended up, I used these bows on all three. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you have your ribbon. This is the only color pipe cleaner I have on hand. I used my, uh, my last neutral colored ones on the, uh, on the ornament wreaths and the bows. So don't mind the ribbon when I show you this, but you want a pipe cleaner, probably a white or a black or a brown or something a little bit more neutral. Match it to your ribbon if you can, or some flower wire, the green wire. Um, and you just need something that's going to be like a twist tie. Okay. So first of all, you need to decide whether you're going to have a tail or not on your bow. Sometimes you just want the bow head and that's fine. Uh, with this one I do want a little bit of a tail so just decide how long you want that. And you're going to gather your ribbon like an accordion. This is a wired ribbon that I'm using. I'm going to twist it. You can see the wire in there. And then I'm going to make my first flap. And figure out how big you want that and then you're going to do that accordion fold over top of the other one so everything can still be held in one hand you get your tail here and your first bow flap once you've done that you're going to twist again make your second bow flap this is where it gets fun so you want to make sure they're roughly the same size and you want to accordion fold over that again so still you're holding everything in one one hand you could finish there if you wanted to I'm gonna do a second one so I've done my accordion fold I'm gonna twist again make a second flap twist again and make my last flap. So I have two heads to my bow. And I'm going to twist this and go down. This is where I take my pipe cleaner. My lovely bright canary yellow pipe cleaner really really tightly twist that together now um, this is bendable wire there's different ways that you can do the bow flap in the middle uh, I'm going to show you the way that I did it and it's completely up to you how you want to do yours so I'm going to take this last flap that's still attached here through my pipe cleaners up and around I'm going to leave a little bit of room there. See how I've gathered that underneath? Take one of my pipe cleaners, wrap that around. Come back and do another crisscross. And then this fabric goes over like that. So you have your crisscross in the back, and you've got your two tails. So here's how I'm going to attach it onto my wreath or banister or outside somewhere. And then once I lay that down, you can see I've got my four heads to my bow, my knot in the middle. And then I'm going to line these up together. I'm going to fold them in half. Actually, I'll put this guy on the top so it'll be easier to see. So you can see the end. I'm going to fold them in half. There's my corner. I'm going to angle upwards and cut. So 
so that I've got my banner edge or my divot edge on the end of the bow. And that is the bow that I made for my ornament reeds. You could do two, you could do one, you could do five if you wanted to. You can do as many flaps so that you don't need the center. So you could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then pull that center one into the center so you have like this big bushy bow. So you can keep going with these flaps if you, if you want to. So you can do as basic as one or as many as seven or eight, as much ribbon as you have that will allow more folds. Keep going with the, the twisting and the accordion folds and then twist ties or flower wire, whatever you've got. You've got some ribbon left over and you've got some beautiful bows. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy crafting!